there's been lots of talk this month about reducing our alcohol consumption. And if you're exploring a sober lifestyle, you're in good company with the She Walks Canada movement. Founder Lindsay Sutherland Bull joins us now to explain why she believes many are changing their relationship with booze. Good morning, Lindsay, and congratulations on your three-year sober anniversary. I hear it's today. It is today, and what a beautiful way to start my day. Thank you so much for having me back. Well, we, we love the insights uh, that you provide because we know anyone who's had one too many has said, okay, I quit drinking, never again, and yet we do. Why is quitting drinking not so easy? That's a great question. Uh, and I think it's because alcohol is a part of the fabric of our lives. Uh, for many of us, we associate alcohol with socializing, celebration, happy hour, which happens every day, you know. So it's just a part of the way that we live in our culture. I know, and there are a lot of people who would like to find, you know, the tools and the resources to, to, to mitigate some of those social pressures. From dry January, we now know there's a push for dry February from the Canadian Cancer Society. Last week, the Canadian Centre on Substance Use and Addiction, they came out with their new guidelines on safe alcohol limits, which I know you've taken a look at it. It is pretty strict. What's your take? You know, that's a great question, and we've thought a lot about that uh, within the She Walks Canada community. And the thing is, there's so many factors uh, that contribute to problematic drinking. And I think it's not news to any of us that alcohol probably isn't the best thing to put into our bodies. And this, this study has certainly shown some light on that. And that's one of the number one things that we talk about within the She Walks community uh, group coaching calls is how do, how do we lead our lives in a way that doesn't have to include alcohol and so that we feel good and positive and ready to move forward. Okay, tell us a bit more then about the She Walks Canada movement and, and, and what's behind that name? Oh, thank you. So She Walks Canada is a movement to engage and empower sober and sober curious women changing their relationship with alcohol. And we do that in two ways. We walk the walk and we talk the talk. And so what that means is any, any woman anywhere can join our private, unique brand of group coaching calls facilitated by certified life and recovery coaches. And in those calls, we have these conversations. How do we live our lives? How do we, how do we live the lives that we want to be living um, free from the negative impact that alcohol can have on our lives? And so not only do we do it in these small group coaching calls, but then there's this walk aspect we all know that walking is good for our body minds and spirits and so that's an integral part of the whole she walks canada fabric um, and this year i'm so excited we have decided to set the goal to walk virtually around the world and we're inviting the world to join us we know that event is happening on march 6th so here's a question though is there a middle ground for the sober curious can alcohol be a part of our lives or does it have to be one or the other if that's a great question and that's also something that comes up in our calls and you know it's not it's not for me to uh, make that assessment uh, for anybody everybody has to make their own decision for themselves um, and what it comes down to is we have to be really really honest what impact is alcohol having on our lives how is it negatively impacting our lives and if it's affecting us if it's affecting the people around us we really need to take a serious look at that I know you offer a ton of resources on this. Once again, tell us about this event happening on March 6th, this global virtual walk to really unite those who are really curious about more mindful drinking habits. Thank you. Okay, this is so exciting. So last year was our first year, and we set out the, the, the desire to walk virtually across Canada. We thought, oh my goodness, are we going to be able to make this? And not only did we walk 7,315 kilometers across Canada virtually, we did it three times. And also during that time, we helped 700 women change their relationship with alcohol. So building on that success, we thought, what else is possible? And it's no news that this Sober Curious movement is really growing globally. And so we're inviting the world, we're taking it up a big, huge knock, a notch, and we're gonna walk around the globe from March 6th to June 17th, over 40,000 kilometers. Wow. So join us, because we are here to walk the walk, we're here to talk the talk, and we're very grateful for the opportunity. And we appreciate your insights on this topic. We will have a link on our website.